Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding primary de department for each employee and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. This question has been asked in Facebook interviews over the past six months a couple of times. Okay, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called employee with three different columns, employee ID, department ID, and primary flag. And these are their data types. The combined column employee ID and department ID is the primary key for this table. Uh, employee ID is the ID of the employee. Department ID is the ID of the department to which the employee be belongs to. Primary flag is an enum of type yes or no. If the flag is Y, the department is primary department for the employee. If not, then it is no. Employees can belong to multiple departments. When the employee joins other departments, they need to decide which department is their primary department. So it means that if an employee has more than one department or more, it belongs to more than one department, then one of the department is necessarily going to be primary, right? Note that when an employee belongs to only one department, their primary column is none, no. We are asked to write a SQL query to report all the employees with their primary department. For employees who belong to one department, report their only department. The order of the result doesn't matter. So let's go through this example, right? So here we have four employees, one, two, three, and four. Employee one belongs to only one department. And uh, since it, it is mentioned that employees which belongs to only one department, their primary flag is going to be N, even though this is their primary department, right? But for employees which belong to more than one department, so for example, employee two belongs to department ID one and two, and one is their primary department. So what we need to return is for one, department ID one is their primary department basically, for two is one, for three, again, belongs to only single department, so three, for four, four belongs to three departments, of which one of them is primary, so four, three, right? So this is what the output should look like. Okay, so let's develop this query, but to develop this query, and I know there are many other ways, many simpler ways to do this, but I just want to introduce a concept here, which can make this task very easy. So yeah, uh, let's go ahead. So the concept that I'm talking about is, let's say from this employee table, right, from this employee table, if I return, right, primary key, primary flag, is equal to y right so i talked about this in one of my previous videos i'm just taking it to a next step here so if i run this right what will this return basically obviously it is a wrong answer because right now we are not focused on the answer we are just focused on the concept right so what is basically returning is set up boolean values right so 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 right so basically wherever uh, primary flag is y it is returning 1 and wherever it is not it is returning 0 right so uh, and then what will happen if i do this right multiplied by department id right if now i run this what will happen okay so here if you see it is zero one right so zero so basically zero how these numbers are coming is department id is one primary flag is n n stands for zero so one into zero is zero 1 into 1 is 1, 2 in cross 0, 3 cross 0, 2 cross 0, 3 cross 1, right? So here you see 0, 0, 0, 0, 3 cross 1, 3, and then 4 cross 0 is 0. Now you understand this concept, right? Now I'm going to use this concept in this question. Okay, so let's go ahead and start developing this query, right? So what we can do is from this table called employee, we can group by employee IDs because for each employee we need to see right which, which is their uh, primary department right so let's group by employee ID return the employee so return the employee ID and then based on the two conditions that we have right so when the it belongs to an employee belongs to only one department return the same department if it belongs to more than one department then wherever primary flag is y you return that department right so again use case when statement so case when since you have grouped by employee id then you can count the number of department ids 
right and if it is equal to 1 you just return the department id if it is greater than 1 then you do something right so case when count of department id is equal to 1 then you simply return the department id right so for in this case right so this row uh, for this uh, when uh, for the group of employee id 1 there is only going to be one department and the count is going to be one so this is going to be satisfied and it will return in department id 1 and that is in the output as well similarly for 3 right so 3 only one re return the department id so 3 so for 3 it is going to return 3 right now the second case right so when count of department id is greater than one then what do you need to return right and now here the trick comes and what the concept i was talking about earlier comes right so if you look at it right so ignore one and three right so we have dealt with when uh, the count of department id is equal to one right so let's look at employee id 2 and employee id 4 let's start with employee id 2 so employee id 2 two departments right one is primary one is not obviously so uh, the concept that i showed was if we do primary flag equal to y and put them in parentheses and multiply that with department id what it is going to return it is going to return for employee id one cross one so basically one and two cross zero is zero right so if you sum that right so after multiplying you sum that so one plus zero is one right and you return that so that is the department of that is the department which is primary belongs to employee id 2 and that is the primary department right similarly let's look for employee id 4 what it is going to have 2 cross 0 0 3 cross 1 3 4 cross 0 0 so if when you sum them 0 3 0 right so the sum is going to be 3 and 3 is basically which department which is primary as well right so whenever your count is greater than 0 uh, greater than 1 then what you do is the first thing that you do is you take care that primary flag is equal to capital y put this in parentheses multiply it by department id and then take the sum right so sum this entire thing right and now since you started a case when statements you end the case statements case when statements and then since your final output should have uh, you know the name of the column department id so you alias it as department id now some of you might be thinking oh okay so here we are you know uh, returning so when these things are being satisfied we are returning department id here also like there is some multiplication and all no that is not going to be the name of the column the name of the column is going to be this entire thing right so if uh, if you don't write as department id this is the going to be the name of the entire column so that is why we need to write department id here the values are coming from the column department id it is not making sure that your final output is also going to have the column name as department id so take care on that okay so let's uh, this looks good since we don't need to order it by anything so yeah let me go ahead and run this to see what happens so yeah this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it again this can be done in multiple ways especially when i think of it union is the probably the easiest way of doing it uh, because what you can do is you can you know take all the cases where the count is one right and then for them just return the department ids and wherever the count was greater than one for them filter and keep only those rows where primary flag is y and you know just union these both both two tables and you are going to get the result that is more conceptual and logical but i just wanted to introduce you to uh, if you don't know about it th this new concept and how we can you know simply use mathematical calculations to do this 
so yeah this is how we do it again another thing which made this possible is because if you see department id is an integer type right if department id had been you know string type then this would wouldn't work right because then primary flag equal to y is going to be integer but department id would have been string so you cannot multiply a number with a string so either you have to cast department id as integer or something like that so basically you would have to change the uh, data type right so remember that so yeah, uh, let me know guys if this video is useful uh, comment down uh, below like what your alternative solutions to this would look like and until then i will see you guys in the next video